Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Natasha Denona minis that just came out. So we have the mini retro palette and then we have the new mini bloom glow blush. So if you want to hear my thoughts and see my demo on these two products, then just keep watching. All right, so really quickly, let's talk about the shipping that happened with me. I'm very confused. So I ordered just the eyeshadow palette the night that it came out. So I ordered it at like four in the morning. I woke up randomly and I was like, oh, I need to order that. Completely forgot about the blush, just ordered the palette and settled on the fact that I was just gonna order the palette. But then literally like two days later, I felt remorse. And so I picked this up two days later, but very confused because this came like the next day or two days later, whatever the free two-day shipping is I didn't get this till Sunday this took five days to get to me so I'm very confused at what happened there that is why this video is a little bit later than I had anticipated but nonetheless of course I'm gonna review it I'm always excited when Natasha Denona comes out with new powder products just so you know both of these products are currently available at sephora.com and I believe Beautylish let me double check on that normally I do my research before filming but I was just so excited to talk about this that I forgot Yes, okay, so both are available. I do want to talk about the blush first because I'm not wearing it. I wanted to do like a live demo for you as far as the blush goes because it's super easy. And then we'll finish off with most of the video being about the palette. So really quickly, we're gonna talk about the Mini Bloom Highlighting Blush. This is $19 and it is only one shade. So, you know, for a mini product, $20 is still pretty steep. But, you know, it's not bad. You are getting four grams of product in here. And there's a lot of yard work going on outside. So if you hear that, I apologize. So this blush is supposed to give your skin a radiant glow and a sheer translucent finish. It does not specify online whether or not it is limited edition. But fun fact, this is formulated with hyaluronic acid, huh? One thing to note, through swatch, it is very, very smooth. It is a bright peachy kind of coral shade with a gold sheen running to it. Very pretty. This is a new shade from Natasha Denona. It does not exist. For size comparison, this is it compared to the Bloom Quad. So it's much smaller, very adorable. If you're curious, this is not at all similar to any of the shades in the Bloom palette, just completely different. Very excited. I don't really have too many cheek products from Natasha Denona. I have some palettes, but as far as individuals, this is my first individual cheek product. So to apply this, I'm using a Refer Number no. 4 brush. This is an angled brush, and we're just gonna get going. So I'm gonna that looks very very bright on my brush. I'm gonna come a little closer so you can get a better view. So I've tapped off my brush. Let's see. Okay, so it's a very very bright blush. I think that if you have a medium to deep skin tone, this is going to work good for you. And I think the sheen is going to look beautiful on a deeper skin tone. Pigmented, so that's good for my gals on the deeper skin tone scale. If you're pale, tap, tap, tap. Honestly, if you're very fair, you might want to run far or use a very, very light hand. Really, really pretty. Did take a little bit of work to spread it out, but nothing bad. And it is just a really kind of radiant glow. I was a little bit worried because sometimes her cheek products are too glowy. And when I first put it down, there was definitely a strong glow on my skin that was emphasizing some texture. But as I worked it out, that sheen kind of blew down a little bit. So it just tapped it in twice again and we're gonna build on this side Ooh, a very beautiful just really bright blush color if you don't like a bright blush you're not going to like this I kind of look like a clown I should have gone with a lighter hand I just really like the finish of that it is glowy but it's not too glowy to where it's emphasizing texture on your cheek I like a bright blush <laughs> well we gotta we gotta tone this down a little bit Blush is getting a thumbs up for me, but definitely a use with caution. Medium to deep skin tones. I actually think you guys are really going to love this product. It's very pigmented. It's very bright. It's not too glowy, so it doesn't emphasize the texture on your cheeks. I think if you really pack it on is when you'll notice it will start to be a little bit unflattering as far as emphasizing texture. But if you really blend it out and take the time to work it out, it does diffuse that sheen so that it is more flattering on the face. So I do really like this. I think it's really pretty. I don't necessarily 
necessarily think it is a need for anybody, but if you're looking for a nice portable bright cheek color, I like this. This is nice. All right, so now it's time to move on to what I know all of you are here for. We're going to talk about the mini retro palette, the newest mini baby to her line. I was so excited for this because look at it. It's very unique just based on all of her other mini quints. This one is definitely the most unique. I think it is a beautiful spring release color story rise very very stunning as I always say with her minis if you actually do the calculations the value of this is not very good because you don't get a lot of product but I do believe it is a great way to try out her formula for only $25 which is much more affordable compared to actually buying her palettes so it's a great way to get a taste of her formula if it's something that you're going to use every single day I would just invest in a palette somebody like me I have quite a large collection I'm not running through any shadow hitting pan on any shadow so so this is perfect for me. $25 and this is a mini palette featuring five dreamy colors for romantic retro looks. Perfect for a soft pastel look and everyday wear. This is currently out of stock at Sephora. That sold out. Okay. <laughs> so in here you are getting two mattes and three shimmers. Two of her shimmers I would say are more of a wet glittery formula and then one is an actual true shimmer. So here's the true shimmer, here are your two mattes and here are the two kind of really glittered foiled metallic shades. Something to note, which is very, very important, especially if you own a lot of Natasha Denona palettes, is three of these shades are repeats, so you only are getting two new shades. Just so you know, Galaxia, this is from the Star Palette. Industrial, which is probably the most beautiful shade in the palette, this is from the Green Brown 28 Pan Palette. Vintage Taupe right here is from the Tropic Palette. So if you're a collector like me, that is slightly disappointing because I do already own most of the shades in this palette, but most people aren't like me you guys don't collect everything so I don't think it's that big of a deal but for us collectors uh, a little bit disappointing for sure the two shades in this palette that are new are 60s and pixie I don't really care for pixie I'll be honest but anyways that's just because compared to all the others it's not as exciting as far as how all of these colors swatched uh a beautiful swatching palette. Everything felt very smooth, very creamy, very consistent. This palette does have all of the formulas that we love and are comfortable with and enjoy. Not one of her crazy ones that she's trying out for the first time and fails. All of these are one of her good formulas that we love and trust. If you aren't aware, sometimes these little guys can be hit or miss from Natasha or her different formulas can be hit or miss from her. She likes to experiment a lot with new formulas, which isn't always her best choice. And these minis as well in the past have seemed to have been just not in line with her regular formula. And I'm giving you the thumbs up. These are her regular formula. Last few things to note before I get into the demo is that quality wise, this is a great palette. These two shades are really beautiful with her shimmers. I definitely recommend you use a finger for the demo. I did use brushes and they applied beautifully, but especially with these two shades right here, you will notice they are a little bit more soft in the pan, a little bit kind of squishy like a putty formula. This shade especially, Galaxia, should be used with the finger unless you're using it on a very small surface area. And Industrial right here is absolutely like my favorite shade in this palette. It is so shiny, so sparkly. 60s I enjoy. I think it's a unique shade and it blended out beautifully. I think it pulls a little bit more murky kind of gray on my eyelid more than I would like, but it's not bad. The shadow works good. It's just not the exact color I would want. Vintage Dope is a really great transition shade, very beautiful. And then Pixie is a really nice quality shimmer. It's just compared to these two. It seems lackluster. It's not, but it's just not as pretty as these two. So that's why, you know, she kind of gets pushed to the back. But overall, really good. As far as skin tone though, I don't think this is very deep skin tone friendly. Uh, these shades can pull a little bit more unflattering on deeper skin tones. There are shades you can make work, but I'll be honest, there are probably shades you can't make work as well. So the blush, where Whereas, you know, she made such a great universal blush. These pastel tones can be a little bit tricky. But quality-wise, color story-wise, I'm feeling this palette. So I'm going to get into the demo of how I got this look. I'm just prepping my eyelid really quickly with some MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So we're first starting off with Vintage Taupe. I'm using a blinged brush, E13, and that is going to go on the inner half of my crease. For this look, I wanted to make sure I got every single color in this quint on here. 
apply this on the inner half of the lower lash line as well. And this color is really pretty. It applied very beautifully and it's like the perfect transition for so many other looks, not just a look for this palette. Next, we're gonna go into 60s. I'm just using a ABH brush right now. And this color could go very wrong. I think it looks a little bit deep, a little bit more murky on the lid than I would personally prefer. Like I was hoping it would be just a tad brighter and it just looks a little bit more gray rather than the green I was kind of hoping for. But application wise, as you can see, it's blending out very easily, which I do appreciate because again, this color could have gone very, very bad, been very patchy, hard to blend. It's actually working out very well, but it's still is a really nice shade and I'm taking just this elf blending brush I guess it's two dollars now like this is like one or two bucks you can't beat it and I'm applying that to my outer half of my lower lash line this was a very very easy color to work with which I do very much appreciate a lot. We're going to take Industrial, which is an amazing shade. I'm putting this right in the outer third of my lid, right on top of that green, and it is so stunning. And I'm using a brush, and it's applying and sticking to the lid with full pigmentation. It has some beautiful silver shimmers in there, and I love this shade, and it goes very well over 60s. Just for some inspo, I would use these two colors and maybe this one one for a look or these two colors and that one for a look so you can have either that really cool green eye or you can have a really cool pink eye I just wanted to incorporate all of them for this look but you can do a lot with this honestly and then I'm going to be taking a pixie which is my least favorite of the shimmers because it's a normal shimmer which is fine it's a pretty color but I like the glitters that the other two colors have it shows up a little bit less pink on the eyelid than it looks like in the pan it looks like it'd be a little bit more pink but it still is a gorgeous shade it applied beautifully with a brush and then finally we're gonna go in with Galaxia and I'm using a MAC 219 which is just a pencil brush and I'm filling in the inner part of my eyelid and as you can see this is a beautiful glittery shade it has a putty texture to it so this probably is going to apply better with a finger if you are planning to put it all over the eyelid but just because I have such a small surface area it applies fine with a brush and beautifully and I'm kind of taking the shimmers and kind of bridging them up here to keep a really pretty glimmery look. I love this shade. All right, so as you can see, all of the shades applied super beautifully, super easy, super even. So this is the look. And of course, you guys have seen the final look. If you are curious about anything that I'm wearing, it will be listed down below in the description box. But overall, she came out with a very good release. I think both of these products are really great. Just use a light hand with the blush and this palette right here is just really beautiful. So I really enjoy this. So overall, Natasha, you did a good job with this one. I am impressed. So if you were interested in picking up these products, I do highly recommend. It felt really nice to do a review today. There hasn't been as many new releases. I haven't been buying as much makeup, so I haven't been reviewing products. And I love reviewing products. So it was fun to get this one out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you guys take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Have a good one.